Our ladies and gentlemen, the next bout is scheduled for one fall with a ten-minute time limit. But first, allow me to introduce the manager. Here he is, the fearless Captain Lou Albano. And here in the corner to my right, from Puerto Rico, weighing 220 pounds, here is Angelo Gomez. And his opponent, from Alabama, weighing 293 pounds, here is Moondog Hawkins. All right, a moon dog joins us again. Here we go. Ramming a knee down in Angelo Gomez's shoulder. I'm sure that uh, Captain Lou Albano must be proud of his men, uh, Moondog, because he is just the type of man that uh, he would like to have in the ring. A uh, guy that's vicious, likes to hurt wrestler, and that's exactly what Moondog is doing. And uh, listens, Moondog does, to everything Lou Albano tells him and carries it out to the letter regardless sure of what albano will tell him you know even if you hate to admit it the captain Lou blue albano has managed uh, some uh, great wrestlers over the years they were champion maybe we didn't like him and most of them i didn't like but uh, they were champions so when you're a champion you're successful and now you hear the fans yelling captain Lou albano is a bum well it just shows what he is I think a bum is a compliment, actually, for uh, likes of Lou Albano. Albano a lot lower than a bum. You could be so generous at times. A moon dog now. Oh, look at that. Display of strength on the part of moon dog Hawkins. Whoa. That fat Albano. display of strength Vince McMahon the way the man lifted a 225 pound man over his head with ease did you like it and do you like it punk Albano the voice of Lou Albano there's nothing that I like about him or his men that's one thing for sure well it's quite obvious uh, Vince that uh, that Moondog is a strong man I mean he just picked up Gomez, lift him up over his shoulder, and just held him there. So it's obvious that he is strong. You know, you wonder, where does a Lou Albano find people like Moondog? You know, I mean, where he must travel to the end of the earth, and I guess that's where you would find a Moondog, at the end of the earth. Probably in a dark alley somewhere, in a, in a dirty bar somewhere. As you brought out last week, uh, Albano could very well feed him on Alpo. Drop kick to the chest has some effect. Backs Moondog up, but not much. Moondog in total control. Is he barking or coughing? What is he doing? Looks like he's barking in there. Who's that? Uh, Moondog. Moondog. I think he's uh, mowing or something. He's probably barking. Albano is going more, more, more. I think he is barking. Last week, we, I thought we saw him howling. 
this week he's barking. And he's also destroying his opponent in the process. Butts uh, Angelo Gomez. Later on in the program, we will be bringing you, as promised, the uh, status of Arnold Skolan, the manager of Bob Backlund, the World Wrestling Federation champion, who suffered a slight concussion now last week at the hands of Sergeant Slaughter giving you a little more in-depth view of, uh, of what's transpired as of late. I wonder when this match is going to end or when the referee is going to stop it. I was just going to say, I feel the referee should stop that match. I mean, he's just punishing Gomez, and Gomez has no, ch no chance whatsoever. The referee should definitely stop the match. Shoulder breaker, two, and three. Uh, I'm glad it's over. Here's a look at the moon dog. I think he, I think he's barking. That's what he's doing. I think. Moon dog having a, a taste of the uh, of the rope. Being around, being around New Albano for a while, he's going to end up uh, needing a, a flea collar. It is a time, 5 minutes and 38 seconds, and the winner, Moondog Hawkins. So the Moondog talks up another victory for himself. 